Hello everyone, this is Saurav and I welcome you again to my video series where we are covering Certified Ethical Hacker course. In this video we are going to talk about 5 phases of hacking. The meaning is when you are planning to be a hacker or when you are planning to do any hacking activity, what are the steps you are supposed to follow? What are the labels you have to go one by one to achieve your goal? So in this session, we are going to talk about those phases which is truly important to know about them before you start any hacking activity. So let me go for it. And here we are going to talk about these five phases which is being used when you are planning to do any attack. First stage is known as a reconnaissance. Reconnaissance means before you do any attack, you must be knowing a lot of having information about the victim. Reconnaissance can be done into two methods. Either you can do it passive reconnaissance, either you can do it reconnaissance. But before I again explain passive and active, let me again repeat what is reconnaissance means. Let's assume that you are planning to attack some organization data or something like that. You must be gather a lot of information about that organization as much as possible. You can do it through many different different way. So let me discuss passive reconnaissance. Passive reconnaissance is the one where you gather the information of your victim but without letting them know or without directly interacting with them. For example, if uh, there is a website and I want to know what are the vulnerability it has and I want to do passive reconnaissance. What I will do first is I will copy one copy of that website in my personal computer and I will start a scanning or doing any kind of finding vulnerability inside of it. So that there will be no any interaction between attacker and a victim while doing the reconnaissance. Another method is you can go to Google, you can search about that organization like what are the employee working there, uh, who is the responsible for what task, what kind of devices do they use, what is the website is all about. You just gather this information from Google. So again, it will become as a reconnaissance, but it is a passive reconnaissance. I found a very interesting example here. I saw a movie in Hollywood. The attacker used to move around the organization dustbin. Can you imagine? He was going every day to uh, look for the dustbin of the organization and he was figuring out whatever the paper was coming out every day from the organization uh, inside the dustbin, inside the garbage. And one day, one day he succeeded because uh, your network administrator, your security person, they must be also having some information of your network, password and other things in a file. So what happens sometimes they do some changes. So what they do is the old file, they just maybe uh, throw it into the dustbin, they create a new soft copy, they print it and put it into the file. So one day he found such kind of file into the dustbin which was not properly destroyed. Maybe it was just broken the page. But when he joined them, he found very much information about the organization. So that can be a kind of passive reconnaissance. Active reconnaissance can be like a phone call. You may just call to maybe somebody and you uh, tell him that I am from this bank. I want to know your uh, debit card information. What is the number on it? Uh, uh, what, when is the expiry date of the card? And if victim gives you, obviously you have information about him. So that is a kind of example of active reconnaissance where the attacker directly interact with the victim to gather the information. Next step when you are done with the reconnaissance, the next step comes that is a scanning. So when you have gathered a lot of information about the victim, now your next task is start that you start a scanning. A start a scanning means you can start a scanning maybe like for system, uh, system ports, like which port is on, which port is off, uh, what are the other vulnerabilities are there. Maybe you can run some tools to uh, scan all the vulnerability. You can uh, maybe use some tools to uh, gather the information of network map, like how the networks are there inside of it, what are the IP address uh, devices are using, uh, which topology they are connected in, what kind of operating system they are using. So this kind of information you can gain by using some of the tools or some of the uh, code 
to gain the information and that will be called as a, a scanning so first stage was you do reconnaissance second stage a stage comes that you do the scanning then when your scanning is done now you have information that vulnerability is there what is the now exploit you have to do this all information now you have so the next step will be gaining access so maybe you found that there is a vulnerability and by using this vulnerability you can remotely access the host machine victim machine or maybe you can uh, destroy the victim machine so uh, that is the next step called as a gaining access where you are going to actually gain the access of that victim machine and you will be able to do anything on his machine so uh, when we first uh, first what we did is we did reconnaissance then we did a scanning once a scanning is completed we do the gaining access where you have the complete access of the victim from your pc you are doing what you wanted you have copied maybe data you have gained the information you have gathered the uh, another uh, information files or anything else which you wanted and once you're done with it fourth one is maintain access now what is the maintain access means the best example of maintain access is we should learn this maintaining access from the leader if you know something about politics what is the major goal of a politician is they have two goal one get elected and once you got elected be elected <laughs> so that is the two goal every politician is having first thing is they will fight for election and they make sure that they win and once they win they make sure that next time when election happen they again win same here is when you have gained the access of a victim pc your next a stage or phase is what you supposed to do now so that next time whenever you want you can again access this machine maybe you can put some uh, a script maybe you can put some malicious code maybe you put some uh, botnet inside of it maybe um, you put some remote control software inside of it so that next time it will be more easy for you whenever you want to gain access of this machine you can easily do so so that is the next term called as a maintain access and last but very much important to protect yourself what you suppose to do is always clear the tracks so when your all the tasks are done when you are done with your uh, theft when you're done with your hacking always make sure that you clear the track so that victim can never come back to the attacker or they will never be knowing that who was the one who did the attack it can give you two benefit one is it you will never be disclo uh, disclosed you will be never be fi figured it out who are you and second point is if you are having a proper clear track the concerned victim will never implement anything they will think that everything is going fine so they will leave his system as it is and you will be having a chance of gaining access as many time you want but if you leave something inside of it if a victim will come to know some kind of uh, Uh, activity on his machine which he was not doing actually what he will do he will maybe contact to security guy security guy will maybe implement some uh, security over there which will reduce a chance of maintaining access so better right guy is always do the clearing track so that it will help you in maintaining access also as well as it will help you to be protected from the victim side to be aware that who was the attacker so uh, here uh, graphically if i try to explain you we have talked about reconnaissance you can gather information about any organization from the newspaper from the media from the google from their website from their employee or from the call anyway you gather the information then you go for the uh, scanning where you uh, scan the network by using tools then you get access and then you look for maintaining access at the end you do the clearing tracks so just for revision what are the five steps we have for uh, doing any kind of hack is the first is reconnaissance second is a scanning the third one is gaining access uh, fourth one is maintaining access and the fifth one is clearing tracks so this was the five stage which we supposed to be knowing very properly and even wh what i would like to tell you at the end of this video is clearing track is very important so you should always keep in your mind before even you start the reconnaissance or a scanning like if you are doing active a scanning or active reconnaissance maybe you use some proxy so that your identity is already hidden 
and there is there will be less chance of being tracked from the attacker uh, sorry from the victim side so i hope this all five stages are clear to you and i would like to thank you for viewing